Hello VC, how are we all doing? George back with another Finds video. We've picked up 10 records over the last maybe four days. Um, uh, so some of it is uh, 10 records, some of it is um, from that bit of collection from my, my local record shop. But uh, without further ado, I'll show you what I've got. So first off, um, trying to just fill this Sins of Kemet um, collection. This is their one and only single. This is a 12-inch single. Uh, it's called African Cosmology. And there's two tracks on it. Um, Rites of Passage. That's the B-side, which is 11 minutes odd. The main track is Myth Signs, 4 minutes 40. So, £10. Don't buy many singles or 12 inch singles. I'd rather get a second hand LP for that, but just uh, fill in this wee hole with them. So that's the Sons of Kemet on Impulse. London jazz scene. And also fill in my 4 LP um, Artwork by Mel Melvin um, Israel, Israel, American artist. He done four album covers for Atlantic for jazz musicians. I think I showed three last week. This is the one came in. Came in. I got this from Holland. I think it was. Uh, this is an American 2001 copy. Obviously, it's. Um, Charles Mingus, Mingus tonight at noon. Uh, and this LP was recorded over two sessions, one in 57 and the other in 61. Um, I think it's, the LP was released in 64, so a bit of a strange one really. Uh, so five tracks. And the first and the last tracks, Mingus plays bass, the middle three, he plays um, piano. And the, the band changes in the two, two sets, although Danny Richmond plays drums on both tracks, uh, both sessions. Um, Roland Kirk plays sax on the second session. So yeah, nice to complete that for, I think it's a brand new copy I've got. That's a good price, uh, Charles Mingus. Uh, so I watched, uh, I watched Steve Gothenburg, he's uh, on the Audio Felix, Felix channel. Um, Hi-fi guy, and he used this album, I think it was on CD, he only had it um, to review and he just read a glowing report of the album. And the LP is KD Lang. Hymns from the 49th Parallel. I think this was released in 2016. So non such. Um, so this is KD Lang doing cover songs of other Canadian artists. So she does two Neil Young after the Gold Rush and um, Helpless. She does two by Joni Mitchell. Two by Jane Sibbery. I don't know her. Oh, well, I think she's probably quite famous in Canada. She does a Ron Sexsmith track. I really like Ron Sexsmith. Bruce Coburn track. And I think that's about it, really. She does one of her own songs. Yeah. So really good. The 49th Parallel, as you, the Yanks all know, is uh, the, the border between Canada and the States. Beautiful album. Um, just a four piece really, so you get KD Lang, Lang singing, piano, um, there's an insert there, bass guitar, and electric guitar, acoustic guitar, there's drums on one track, and there's strings on a few of the other tracks, lovely. I've done this already and I put samples in, but my phone storage is killing me, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this great album really came yesterday. KD Lang, seen her live in concert. There wasn't a lot of guys in the, <laughs> the, the gig. 
beautiful singer and a fantastic album, K.D. Lang. Hymns from the 49th Parallel. So that collection I've got over the last, well, my local record shop got in over the last three weeks or whatever. Last week I showed two Modern Lovers albums and a Bert Jansch album. The week before, I think I got a Modern Lovers album. So he had other stuff, but he was pricing it up, so he got it done. And I swapped some records now. Uh, yeah, I did trade in, I have been trading in some stuff, part of my collection. Sold quite a bit actually over the last few months, if you think I've got endless pity money, I don't really. Uh, so, so the Sparks album recently for 190, sold two Sil David Sylvian albums for 330. And I've been selling off some of my old Mofi albums that aren't worth too much. So anyway, back on with my trade-ins and I had three Scott Walker original albums. This is Scott One and it's on uh, Philips UK label, English label, Philips. Um, Oops, maybe Dutch, a wee bit there, eh, Phillips, but anyway, UK label. This is his first album from 1967 when he left the Walker Brothers. Um, yeah, left the Walker Brothers and solo album. And uh, yeah, when he was 22, he left, uh, he settled in England. American artist, and I think we all consider him really a a British artist, I don't know. I don't know how popular he was in America. Don't know, he might have been huge, but Scott Walker, what a voice. Absolutely fantastic. It's good to get these originals. And they're all, that's one of the reason, reasons I was keen to buy these because they were in pretty, not mint condition, but very good. So this is, uh, oh, that's, that's it. This is Scott too. Again on the Philips record label. Great voice and these these songs just really take you right back into the 60s. It's uh, quite a unique artist, Scott Walker, and he went on, he, he's, he's dead now. But he was doing some avant-garde music later on, which I'll have to investigate at some point. Scott to Scott Walker, and as I showed you there, Scott 3, this has a bit water damage on the cover there, vinyl is mint now, nice skatefold, and the Phillips label too, is 1969, so 67, 68, 69, I had his, I've got Scott 4 and his album after that. Uh, which you can get in a box set, I believe. Tempting. But uh, yeah, beautiful. Great artist, Scott Walker. And the next artist or band I got, and I've got four of their albums. You can hear one of them playing in the background. It's the Pentangle. And this is their first album from 1968. We have Bert Jansch on guitar, John Renborn on guitar, and vocals, both of them. Terry Cox on drums, the great Danny Thompson on bass, and Jackie McShee is the vocalist there. Great British folk music. Absolutely brilliant. Again, these are in great, great condition. That's this one's the only British one I've got, it's on Transatlantic. It's minted and I haven't cleaned it yet. Um, also from 68, Sweet Child. This is a double album. There's five of them there. Just such a great band. I, I love that when there's um, the reprise label, American reprise. All minted. I've, I've washed this one. Um, 
68, so we'll have a live album, a double album, it's a live album and a studio album. But it's done in the old, I mean, I think the Americans have done it with some albums, I don't know how much they've done it, but it's first album, Side 1 and Side 4, second album, Side 2 and Side 3, for an auto-changer. So I've got the live album on side four here, and the first disc and the studio albums on side four. It's absolutely nuts. So you've got to take it off. Put... Anyway, there's great, some great tracks on it. They do two um, Charles Mingus tracks, Goodbye Pork Pie Hat and Haitian Fight Song. Uh, and actually do a track Moondog, and that was about the last video I showed, just a coincidence, Moondog, this number is by Terry, Terry sings it on his own, Terry the drummer, who normally doesn't sing, this number by Terry is dedicated to the blind American street musician who used to play in doorway, in the doorway of the old Basin Street Jazz Club on West 50th Street in New York City. Absolutely fantastic LP in there we are. Superb. And from 1970, we have Cruel Sister. Again, Gatefold Gate. Again, on reprise label. And we have there. Same lineup, nothing much changes. Um, Fantastic album. Side two is just one track, it's Jack Orion. Uh, one of Bert Janch's older songs when he was solo. And from 1972, we have Solomon Seal. Nothing much to see in the The label label's exactly the same. The Pentangle, Solomon Seal, absolutely fantastic. Didn't expect to get all these albums in a winner. So one more early. I've got a couple of Pentangle already. I've got one. It's missing in the whole of these uh, albums that I'll pick up. Fantastic, great acoustic guitar. Um, Pentangle. Solomon Seal. Okay, that's it for this week. Hopefully not so many next week. Catch you later. Cheers VC. Have a good one.